Ah, yes, so I've heard. So young, and yet you've already got quite the reputation. Wait, are, are you Outlanders? Yep, we're travelers who just arrived in Natland not too long ago. No, I, I mean, I was aware that you're travelers. It's just no one told me that you're Outlanders. No, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged herself to the plan, but we need to forge an ancient name to ensure she'd be able to return safe and sound. And she did mention that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them, but at the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. But I seem to understand where the uh, true difficulty lies now. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm used to it, really. I just huh, need a moment to process things. The Pyro Archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill, and uh, we used to argue a lot. Honestly, it's uh, probably for the better that she didn't bring this up at the time. <sighs> anyway, I can't argue with her if she isn't here, and it'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else. But, whew, just because I understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset, after all. She must have known that forging an ancient name for an outlander is an impossible task. It's impossible? As you probably know, an ancient name is a symbol of a hero's spare and glory, which grows even richer and heavier as generations of successors inherit it. We forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual who will become the first hero of that particular name. But they were all performed outside of Natlan, correct? Yeah, that's right. Then those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom. To take it one step further, even if you had performed heroic deeds in Natlan, as an outlander, your actions still wouldn't have been recorded by our lands. Only memories and experiences that have been acknowledged by the Wyab can be used as a basis for an ancient name. Even the greatest of craftsmen cannot create something out of thin air, you know. That's just how it is. Seems the Wyab don't want just anyone to get a name, huh? Mawika, of all people, should know better than anyone. Yet she still entrusted the task of forging the ancient name to me. Oh, Paimon gets it. Nobody's happy being asked to do the impossible. Ugh, don't remind me. Let's just, uh, focus on how we can pull this off. How to achieve the impossible. Uh, you mean you're already willing to accept the task? Well, what else can I do? What's happened is already done, and it's not like I can outright defy the order of my Archon. If she gave me this order, then she believes the ancient name is an indispensable part of her plan, and that I'll be able to find a way to make it happen. In other words, the Order is an affirmation of my abilities. Oh, not only has she accepted the task, but now she's looking for silver linings? The key is getting the Wyab to somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record her heroic deeds. We heard the voice of a Wyab when we were in the Night Kingdom before. We even had a whole conversation with her. If we can talk to her again, maybe we can figure something out together. Well, every tribe has their own Wyab. How do we know if the one you met is indeed the best one for us to talk to? Plus, considering the unprecedented nature of this situation, I have a feeling that the acknowledgement of one Wyab alone would probably not be enough. <sighs> I don't know. That requires a level of knowledge that I do not possess. We need to find a consultant who's an expert on all things Night Kingdom and Wyab. The first person who comes to mind is Seat Lolly at the Masters of the Nightwind. The one we call Granny Eatstalee. Oh, we've heard that name before. 
We used her spirit speaker stone to find Kachina's ancient name. A person who can make something like that must be pretty impressive. Paimon's sure she'd be able to help. Uh, still, she's older now and quite eccentric. It's hard to even book a meeting with her, given that she's constantly holed up in a room and doesn't like to be disturbed. I've heard that to get her help, you have to be extremely patient with her and know how to keep her spirit up. I hate to break it to you, but... Huh. Why is that? I mean, didn't she already help you before? And you even managed to save Kachina. Well, yeah. At the cost of her spirit speaker stone being split into two. <sighs> Great going, Moika. We're already off to a rocky start here. In that case, I guess your only option is to try to emphasize that this is an important order from the Pyro Archon. Hopefully, Seat Lolly would still want to show respect to the Archon. I'll also write you a letter on your behalf. If you can find someone to deliver it and mention some good things about you, then that should help too. Paimon sure hopes a Hal won't interrupt when he's talking, though. All right, Kanich is a seasoned negotiator. I trust that he'll know the best things to say. Uh, please just give me a moment to write the letter, and we can meet up near the Statue of the Seven later. Sounds good! We'll take a stroll in the meantime. 